Well, it seems like every other month there's another news story about hormone replacement therapy. Some say it's good, others say it's bad. Well, here to talk about this controversial subject is Dr. Kent Haltorf. Now, hello. Good morning. Could you just tell us what is hormone replacement therapy and who is it for? Well, hormone replacement therapy is basically replacing a woman's hormone as they drop through menopause or even perimenopause, the time before menopause. And where the big controversy comes is especially bioidentical hormones versus the synthetic versions that are commonly used. What are bioidentical So hormones? bioidentical hormones are hormones that are exact copies of what a woman would normally produce, including estradiol, estriol, progesterone, testosterone, so exact copies not synthetic versions. And uh, with all this controversy, so I looked and reviewed all the literature on bioidentical hormones because you'll find, again, some people like Suzanne Summers and Oprah say, oh, women feel better. Then you have experts yes. saying there's no studies. So look and see if there were studies. There are hundreds of studies, and my findings were just published in a major medical journal, Postgraduate Medicine. And what was found is that bioidentical hormones are uh, substantially different. They have different physiologic effects. They reduce the risk of breast cancer, while synthetic hormones increase the risk of breast okay, cancer. that's the key. <laughs> and they significantly protect against heart disease much better than synthetic hormones. And women do feel better on them. But really, I think the most important thing is the breast cancer risk, and they're, they're much safer. So stay away from the synthetic. You don't want to do synthetic. And uh, study after study after study shows that bioidentical hormones are safe and safer than synthetics. Can you break down why people feel so bad after menopause? Well, with, with menopause, all the hormones drop. You have low estrogen, low progesterone, low testosterone. And so, so when. This literally replaces those e hormones. Exactly. Now, they want to find a doctor who can customize those formulations because every woman's different and, and can customize it for the different symptoms. Let's say a woman has a lot of anxiety associated with menopause. Then you want to do more of a progesterone um, uh, replacement and also increase risk, uh, decrease risk for breast cancer the more progesterone you give. Progestin, synthetic, would increase the risk. Hmm. Or if they have more hot flashes, more depression, you want to do more of an, uh, an, an estrogen. If they have low libido, more testosterone. So you need to find a doctor that can customize those preparations. The one-size-fits-all is no longer a good option. Sure, sure. And do you just interview them? Do you take blood samples? How do you find out what they need? Well, really, a knowledgeable doctor can know by the symptoms. Mm -hmm. And then that is the, the basis. Uh, blood tests can also be helpful. But most of the time, you don't even need those. Really, you look at the symptoms and then well, once you replace it, you can check the levels and make sure they're optimal. Okay. Um, now, I know that, that sometimes, uh, are there any other risks for taking these types of, of drugs? Well, that's when you look at a woman say, okay, what are, why would you want to take hormone replacement? Most of the time it's for the symptomatic relief. Other women, hey, I want to look younger, which is okay. Mm -hmm. And then that way you can put actually estrogen right on your face and you actually reduce the risk of wrinkles. So again, it right, on your face? right on your face and it comes in, cream it comes in creams. Yes. Yeah, so you don't want to take oral yeah. estrogen because you take oral estrogen of any sort, goes to the liver, increases clotting factor, so increase the risk of stroke and heart attack, and increases binding proteins. All your thyroid drops, your growth hormone level drops, so you don't want to do that. So if a woman is at risk, especially let's say for heart disease, then which most people are, that's what's going to get most of us, sure. is you don't want to take oral estrogen. It's even bioidentical. You don't want to do it. You want to take a transdermal cream that doesn't go through the liver. It doesn't increase inflammation, doesn't increase clotting factors. Very interesting. Yeah. And then if a woman, I'll say, has a, a large risk for breast cancer, wants to do a uh, predominantly progesterone uh, preparation. And can they go to you as well as other doctors? Or are you the only one that, that No, there, so there, are, there are many doctors doing this. So they just have to find that doctor. And if they talk to their uh, OB or their family practitioner and say, you know, do you do bioidentical hormones, you'll get an instant okay. response. If there's no studies on that, which is wrong, or you'll have to look elsewhere. All right. Well, thank you so much. For more information, you can log on to www.holterfed.com. Holtorf Med, excuse me, dot com. It's been a long morning. Well, coming up, Manny the Movie Guy shows us which hot DVDs.